Hey guys, okay, so I know I haven't put a review out in probably just over a week. All right, so I had reviews for the movie Tethered. Um, what else? Hellbender, uh, the movie Fresh, uh, Crabs. Anyways, I had a whole bunch of reviews done. <laughs> oh, and then I dropped my fucking camera, okay? <laughs> I don't understand how this happened. My camera was fine, but the memory card inside the camera cracked. I don't know how that is possible. So I, anyways, I lost all those reviews. So what I'm going to do is I, I'm, I'm going to do this review now as a separate one. And then tomorrow I'm going to film like seven movies and just put it into one video and just give my quick opinion on them so that you guys can at least know what I think because you guys have been asking me about them for like the last week. So I don't have time to go back and review them all or do a video on them and edit it. So I'm just going to do one video talking about all of them. Does that make sense? Okay, but tonight we are talking about You Are Not My Mother. Let's get going. Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. Okay, so with all that being said, Let's get into this movie, You Are Not My Mother. Right off the hop, I liked this movie, okay? But it is not a movie that's going to be for everyone, okay? I'm pretty sure there's going to be just as many people that don't like this movie, you know, that do like this movie. I just, it's, it's, it's a character-driven movie. Listen, if you come to the poster of this movie, okay, with these two people on the front poster, and then you've got this, like, demonic looking hand or whatever over the face of the of the one person okay look you might be coming to this thinking you're going to get like a straight up creature feature okay you're not you're not getting that this is a, a micro budget it's more of a character driven film there there is some some payoff in the third act okay which is which is great but for the most part this is just character building and it's depressing. <laughs> it's listen. If, if you're in a good mood and you're looking for something that's action packed and and just, you're not getting it with this movie. Okay, this movie is depressing. It's it's filmed that way. It has this grayish blue overlay to it, which makes it look like the the film itself look depressing. It's 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 just a dark and a gloomy film, and. I liked it. You know, there were some spots in it where I thought maybe it was a tad bit too long. Listen, it's it's from, well, it's not first time director. She's got, I think, like eight pieces that she's done over the years, but this is the first full length feature that Kate Dolan has done. Everything else has been short films, okay? And this is her first crack at a feature length film. And I think for the most part, she pulled it off. Um, there were some things, like I said, I think maybe just dragged on a little too long, kind of in the second act, you know, maybe just for filler. But I mean, listen, she was trying to bring across a very depressing home setting with a mother who we don't know what she's suffering from in the first act, whether it's depression or what illness. And then she basically in the first act, Okay, here, let me read the synopsis. Okay, in a North Dublin housing estate, Char's mother goes missing. When she returns, Char is determined to uncover the truth of her disappearance and unearth the dark secret of her family. Okay, well, this movie pretty much revolves around three people. Char, her mother, Angela, and then Angela's mother, or Char's grandma, Rita. Okay, and they all live in the same house together in, in this house in Dublin. Um... Char goes to school, you know, she's very, with all the crap that she's got going on around her with her, with her mom who has this illness and, and living kind of where she does, you know, and she's being bullied at school. Um, she's, she's, she's always there. She's getting good marks. You know, she's doing quite well. I'm, I couldn't, that was the one thing I thought with this character that was cool because a lot of kids would just pack it in, but she was like determined to, to get good school grades, even with all the crap that she has to deal with, you know, once she leaves school, it was, it was, it was impressive and it was very well written. Okay. The, the, and Hazel Dupe, I think that's how you say her last name. She did a fantastic 
job in this movie. Carolyn Bracken plays Angela, her mother. And I'll tell you, these two together were fantastic because when in the first act, when Angela disappears, okay, I mean, we only see her for a few minutes on screen and she's got this kind of depressed, kind of shut-in look to her. And then when she comes back after her disappearance, she just kind of shows up. She's almost like a new person. You know, all the, like the depression seems to be gone. She's a lot more active. Uh, she wants to go on a trip. She just seems like a different person, okay? But Rita, who is the grandmother, knows something's up, okay? And at first, and again, this is, all has to do with writing, and this all has to take, or this all takes place in the first and second act. Rita knows something's up, okay? But she's keeping it under wraps, and she knows what's going on with Angela, but she kind of want to, or kind of wants to keep it to herself, to not let Char know because Char's already dealing with a whole bunch of shit already and she's a teenager. So she's kind of keeping it under wraps, okay? But as the second act goes on, it gets worse, all right? And Angela starts to more act more erratic and just not herself. And then Char finally loses it and, and says to Rita, the grandmother, what in the fuck is going on Please tell me, okay? And then that's when we lead in to the third act, okay? And the third act, really, for a lot of people, is what's going to save this movie, okay? Because I'll be honest, you're like a lot of people, like I said with the poster, are going to come in. And even the trailer, the trailer kind of amps up, but a lot of the, the action-y scenes in this first and second act are in this trailer to kind of jazz it up a bit, all right? So this is not like an action-packed kind of creature fest. It really isn't. Like I said, it's a very slow burn, kind of character-driven, a lot of background, you know, character background and stuff like that. And then when we get to the third act, then it kind of pumps up a bit. So it's one of these movies where you, you just kind of have to stick it out. You may enjoy it, I know I did, but don't give up on it because the ending is really cool, okay? Now, there's no CGI in this movie. Everything's practical. There is, I don't want to give like spoilers for the third act, but there is like a, a creature-ish transformation in this in this movie. It's all practical. I mean, it looks fantastic when, she, when she's, you know, kind of transformed into what she, she's supposed to look like. I thought it was really good. <laughs> I really did. I'm just, I'm doing my best not to, to give the, the third act away here because, you know, that's when the shit hits the fan. So, and there's subtle hints, like there's key scenes throughout this movie. Um, you know, there's a, like a class trip that they go on and then the grandma kind of says some stuff, but there's key scenes in this movie that kind of fill you in as to what's happening to the mother and the history of this family's past and how Char got the, the, the birthmark on her face or what it actually is and stuff like that. So, and that's all I'm going to say, okay? I, I did enjoy this movie. To give it a rating, I'd probably give it a six and a half. Again, it's low budget. There's no effects in here that are going to like blow you away or wow you. It's just, it's got a few key sort of awkwardly uncomfortable scenes you know, where there's, there's, um, with, with the mom and the daughter together and stuff. It's just, it's just a lot of unnerving scenes and some people may not see it that way. Okay. I liked the slow burn of this movie because I thought the payoff was there. A lot of people may not like it or may not accept it and they might go elsewhere or, or, you know, just say this movie was boring and shitty. I don't know. I didn't see it like that. Anyways, guys, I did like this movie. I am recommending it. I'm going to give it a solid six and a half. It's called You Are Not My Mother. I hope I didn't spoil it for you with the third act, but seriously, check this one out. The acting is on point for, for sure. And for her first feature length film, I think that Kate Dolan did pull it off. She also wrote this, by the way, too. So anyways, give it a watch if you haven't already. Then come back here and let me know what you think, guys. And until next time, take care.